Reef and I are about to play one-on-one, -on -one, uh, so stay tuned for that video. Uh, I might get dunked on a couple times, but I'll still come out with the W. If you played at what, uh, 13, it'd be, honestly, it'd be 13, me, 13, uh, it'll get like. Why are you being in this? <laughs> Why are you being in this? What's up, y'all? I'm Yuki Okubo, uh, class of 2020, and I go to Crossroads School. Uh, when I first started playing basketball, I started playing seriously in, uh, when I was five. Um, I, I, play, I first played in this uh, Asian League and um, Cheviot Hills. And then when I was around seven, eight, I started this program called Hoop Masters. And from there, I just stuck with it, uh, grind every single day. I mean, I chose Crossroads because it's a good school um, academically and the athletics are pretty good. It was close to my house. I, I live in Santa Monica. Yeah, it's a good a atmosphere there. Playing with Sharif, um, it's, it's, it makes my job a lot easier. I mean, he's, he's 6'10". Uh, he can shoot, dribble, pass. He can basically do anything. On the court, he's like, he's like a leader. He, he helps with he helps us with uh, a lot of things and um, he leads the team uh, by example and vo uh, vocally. My most memorable uh, moment in a game was we were, we were down we were down three with like four seconds left. It was our ball, got it, it took two dribbles and launched it from half court and I was seven at the, I was like yeah I was like eight seven or eight at the time so it took me a lot to shoot it but uh, I shot the half court and I switched in and everyone went crazy, we went into overtime, and we won. People might say it's a disadvantage, but I don't really think so. Um, as long as you work hard, you have heart, and um, outplay everyone, uh, I don't really think it matters. To smaller players, uh, my advice is don't let anyone tell you you're t too small to do anything, because uh, if you keep working and uh, you play your heart out, um, uh, you'll get there and you'll succeed. My strong points in my game, um, I, can, I can handle the ball. Um, uh, I'm a pass first point guard, so I like to get my teammates involved. Um, I'm, I'm really quick, uh, I'm fast, and I think it's really hard to guard me. Uh, I looked up to um, Allen Iverson's uh, handles. He was really shifty. Um, I think he changed the game a lot. Um, I also look up to uh, Chris Paul with his passing and IQ. Um, Isaiah Thomas, just because he's like me, he's, uh, he's kind of short, but he still plays with heart and he still balls out. Right now, uh, we're not that good, but the Clippers, um, I'm kind of mad that uh, Chris Paul left because he's, uh, he's my favorite player. But with Patrick Beverly, Blake, DeAndre, I think we'll be straight. I'm not a new fan either. I remember when uh, Baron Davis, Eric Gordon, um, Elton Brand, they were all on the team. I used to follow uh, Chris Paul, but now I'm just sticking with the Clippers. When I first started in the, like, in the Clippers, um, it was really when Baron Davis was there. With, um, I mean, he went. To, Baron Davis went to Crossroads. He's an alumni. Um, when Lob City first started, I, th I thought that was like the coolest thing because I was, I think I was like 12, 11, 12, 10, 10, 11, 12, and uh, back then I didn't really see a lot of dunks and like that. So I thought that was like the coolest thing. So that's when I really started following the Clippers. Uh, and they're not the JV team. Uh, we're still we're still on the rise. Uh, for uh, it's been like five six years, but it's it's cool. Uh, we'll, we'll be there one day. The last video getting as big as it did. Um, I thought I mean I felt pretty good because uh, uh, you might have saw they were uh, chanting four eight four seven four six. Um, I'm actually 5'7 uh, with shoes on, so, um, um, and um, every free throw I shot, uh, they went down an inch, which was cool because I made all my free throws, and then um, after the game they were kind of talking, but I mean we still won by a good amount, so yeah, it felt good to shut them up. Our team goals for this year um, is to win a ring, be the best, uh, one of the best teams in California and in the nation. Um, a lot of uh, a lot of scouts or a lot of like um, people that rank uh, teams are leaving us out because uh, and people are saying like oh we don't have 
uh, Ira or we don't have uh, Jacob, but I'm sure that we'll be uh, perfectly fine and we'll still kill. My personal goal this year is to uh, score the ball a little bit more because I wasn't really doing that much last year and to be a scrappy guard um, and I'll do whatever it takes for my team to win. My top five rappers are um, Uzi, uh, uh, A Boogie, um, let's see. I like YG because you can turn up to any of his songs. Um, oh, um, I'm not considered a rapper, but the group uh, Migos. Um, and um, two hours later. Anything that uh, Metro Boomin uh, produces, my celebrity crush. Um, I don't know if this counts as a celebrity, but uh, Summer Rae is an argument or a controversial statement that says, um, if you're in water, are you wet or are you only wet when you get out of the water? And for the people that say um, you're wet, you're only wet when you get out of the water, is stupid because when you're in water, you're obviously wet. So um, I'll shut that argument down right there. Um, there's only one right answer, and you're wet when you're inside water. Reef and I are about to play one-on-one, -on -one, uh, so stay tuned for that video. Uh, I might get dunked on a couple times, but I'll still come out with a W. If you played at what uh, 13, it'd be. Honestly, it'd be 13, me 13, uh, it'll get like seven, eight, uh, probably 90% of those are dunks. Cause yeah, I'm, I'm five, uh, seven and he is 6'10", so it's kind of hard, but I'll still come out with the dub. Uh, my favorite food is ramen, uh, I'm Asian, so that's my favorite food. Um, hell no. Hot sauce? That's not an Asian thing to do. Hot sauce on ramen? No. Um, on that crossover video where, I, where it looked like um, uh, I broke that kid's ankles, um, I'm pretty sure, he, um, I'm almost positive he had a cramp, but um, a lot of y'all were on my head for uh, in the comment section for clapping. Uh, that was because uh, they were kind of uh, talking, um, they were kind of talking a little bit. So um, that's why I was clapping. Um, it wasn't really big of a deal. I don't know why you guys were like roasting me in the comments, but it's cool. I know um, the kid I uh, crossed. I, I know him personally. He's a good kid, and uh, I'm pretty sure he's in like he skipped the grade and he's in college now because he was so smart. But um, he, he's actually pretty nice. Uh, my favorite brands to wear. Um, I wear Nike, Adidas, um, Jordan. I mean, we are a Jordan sponsored team, so shout out to Jordan. Um, I don't really wear like Bape or Supreme. Um, that just costs way too much money, and I don't really think you need to be spending six hundred thousand dollars on uh, uh, a jacket or um, I don't know shorts. And um, I'm pretty basic uh, every day to school. I just wear, I just put on sweats, um, a shirt, a hoodie, and um, I come to school most days with uh, sandals. I don't even put on shoes. Um, no, I, uh, I don't think he's a hype beast because for me, uh, like he said, a hype beast is like you're actually waiting in line, you're there for every single release, you're always talking about it. But Reef, nah, he just, he's, he doesn't really show it off either, he's just humble. Um, yeah, I don't think he's a hype beast. Being a, a Asian basketball player, um, we're kind of looked uh, down upon, like, and um, especially that I'm shorter. If you walk into a gym, like, they'll be like, "Oh, he sucks. Uh, he's short. He can't do anything. He's weak." But um, when we actually uh, play, um, I prove myself and I earn my respect. I use that to motivate me and keep me going. Um, it's just like a chip on my shoulder and. Uh, from that, I just keep working harder and harder every single day. My advice to um, everyone, um, no matter basketball, life, anything, um, people are gonna hate on you. Um, they're gonna look down upon you, but you just gotta use that as motivation to keep going and pushing yourself every single day. And you don't really, uh, don't let anyone get into your mind. Ignore all the haters and uh, just keep grinding every single day. I give a shoe shout out to Baller Visions, uh, Cam and Marcel, 
uh, for uh, putting me on. Shout out to George from uh, In The Lab. Um, that was my first video, that really meant a lot to me. Also, shout out to uh, Hoop Masters and Magic West and all the coaches and staff that uh, helped me with my game throughout the years, and I really wouldn't be here without y'all. Actually, shout out to all the haters. I just use that um, to motivate me even more. Uh, shout out to y'all. Shout out to my dad um, for rebound for me almost every night since I was young, just sticking with me when I had bad days. Shout out to my uh, mom and my sister too to help me get through uh, tough days when I had a bad game and uh, supporting me throughout the years.